All right, what's going on, Xbox and YouTube? Now, Battlefield, aka Dice and Visceral, have released more information about the six masks that are involved in the first DLC. Two of the masks were already in the game the Dino Mask and the Wolf Mask. But before the first DLC, the Dino and Wolf Mask really didn't do much other than, yeah, it looked really, really cool. So we are going to start off by basically showing you guys and talking about what masks do what and for what reason. Now, first of all, all of the masks that involve animals are now going to be on the criminal team, which also means the Dino Mask will be a criminal mask now after the first DLC. The Dino Mask originally was for the police and the Wolf Mask was originally for the criminals which it still is but first we are going to start off by talking about what the rabbit mask can do for you now the rabbit mask pretty much gives you a 10% gearhead XP bonus which pretty much relates to anything that you know having to do with vehicles you drive um, you bring somebody you know from the vault to the, your money pile using the helicopter or any sort of vehicle whatsoever you will receive a 10 percent bonus xp for anything involving a vehicle now on to the next mask the gorilla mask now the gorilla mask gives you 20% rep XP bonus. Now this mask I truly believe will be one of the most used masks mainly because it uses it gives you rep XP which basically gives you your perks in the game. Now you get four perks in the game depending upon which class that you pick you will get tailor made perks for that class but with the 20% rep XP bonus you should get there 20% faster which as you get perks will actually make you a better player and will actually change the gameplay somewhat so this mask I believe will be the most used and is one of the most powerful masks that they have released yet now on to the wolf mask one of the masks we actually already have unlocked but the ability for the mask is not there quite yet but the wolf mask gives you 10 percent team play xp bonus which for those of you guys who do not know what team play bonuses mean it basically means anything involving helping your team out guarding your teammate um helping your your buddy bring money from the pile to your own vault driving around in hot wire with your friends while they shoot people pretty much anything that involves team orientated gameplay you will receive a 10 percent team play bonus for so that's a really cool thing i really do not believe this wolf mask will be used that often other than the fact that yeah once again it just looks really cool now on to the dinosaur mask. Now the dinosaur mask gives you a plus 20% quick draw XP bonus, which basically relates to being able to kill your enemy faster, pulling out your handgun and killing your enemy faster, stealing money, anything that basically relates to doing it faster than the enemy team will give you a quick draw bonus. Now in my opinion, this is one of the most useless bonuses you could possibly use, mainly because how often do you actually get into a quick draw encounter with an enemy? And even when you do, you only get a 20 or 25% boost boost on your points so with this 20 percent you will only get 45 to 50 points more so it's really not that big of a deal you know you get 150 points for killing somebody faster than they could kill you so i don't know how i really feel about the dinosaur mask besides the fact that it looks ridiculously awesome but we'll just have to wait and see for the final dlc or for the first dlc now on to the police helmets or masks. Now I'm going to run through these a little bit faster because all of the police masks actually do the same thing as the criminal masks. But starting with the motorcycle helmet, this gives you a 10% gearhead XP bonus, which basically relates to anything involving a vehicle while assisting your teammate. This could be shooting somebody in a helicopter while your buddy flies or vice versa, bringing money from the vault to your money pile. Now on to the tactical helmet. The tactical helmet gives you a 20% rep XP bonus, which in my opinion, this will be one of the most used helmets along with the other criminal mask that does the same thing because this will actually allow you to get your perks in the game 20% faster, therefore giving you a better edge faster than everybody else in the game. So this can be a very, very useful tool. Not too sure about the rest of the masks other than the fact that they just look cool, but the tactical helmet will definitely be useful. Now onto the riot helmet. The riot helmet gives you a 10% team play bonus, which basically relates to anything 
involving assisting your teammate while on the ground or in a vehicle or anywhere else on the map. The only difference between this and the motorcycle helmet is you cannot be in a vehicle for team play to work. It has to be inside of a, uh, of a building or somewhere on the ground using your weapon. So onto the ballistic helmet. Now the ballistic helmet can give you a 20% quick draw XP bonus. Which, once again, in my opinion, it's one of the most useless helmets in the game. Quick draw really, really doesn't do too much for you. But once again, it can be useful. Or if you don't really give a crap, you can just wear the helmet because it looks badass, once again. But I'm really excited, guys, for this new trailer or um, this new DLC to actually make its way over to the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. So we can get playing it early on early access on the Xbox One. I will be bringing you guys gameplay from the new DLC a few days before the actual DLC releases so I hope you guys have enjoyed if, if you have opened your perspective at all on the new Battlefield Hardline DLC please remember to like subscribe and comment and I will see you guys on my next video peace